that the new advanced manufacturing building will be used to support teaching and research activities across the Faculty of Engineering and wider University of Nottingham. 9,000 square metres of a mixture of office space, lab space, a specialist clean room facility and then there's teaching space as well. Uh, the new facilities will be used by three of the faculty's main research groups and they are the Centre for Additive Manufacturing, Composites Research Group and the Institute of Advanced Manufacturing. We'll also be basing one of our teaching departments over in the building and they'll be teaching foundation year students. GF Tomlinson had presented best value in terms of quality and cost. The whole process took 88 weeks. There was a, an initial phase of remediation where we cleaned the ground, removed some of the contaminants. The soils that were cleaned were then maintained on site and not carted off. The new facilities are going to act as a showcase for a lot of our research programmes that we do in the Faculty of Engineering. The new modern feel to the building and accessibility of the building are going to allow a cross-section of students, staff, visitors to see what we do on a lot of the research programmes. A number of floors are isolated and heavily reinforced, being in precision and the workshop area where the robots sit. The size and the location of the stairs dictated from a programme point of view that we constructed a lot of the walls and ceiling and glass prior to the installation. But due to its size and we needed to actually install it with a, a small mobile city crane within the atrium, all the front entrance glass was left out to facilitate the access in and out. The project's located on the southern side of the Jubilee campus. It's the first time Jubilee campus reaches Derby Road, so it's opened up the university to the city, to the wider public, in a way that no other development has done to date. The university took the view as it was developing this site with the wider infrastructure and access it wanted to create that it needed to replace that scout hut. The current scout that now we're in is actually it's pretty much right at the end of its lifespan. So this actually came along at, at the right time. It's improved the facilities on the campus and it's also had a wider community benefit. The hope is once we've got ourselves settled in the new building, it will just be nice for the kids to be able to, to flourish in a new environment, a new safe, warm environment. We supplied some bird box kits and we got the scouts then to make them up and they're now installed in all the trees around the building here. It's really hard to put into words what it actually means. It, it's so much. Obviously we have a very good working relationship with the staff at the university. There was a lot of end user interface. The estates department delivered this and we had a number of site visits by the individual sectors within the Faculty of Engineering. That involves staff from across all of the Faculty of Engineering, senior technical managers, uh, and then the wider main contractor, estates, architects and building surveyors, and it worked really well as a process. The multidisciplinary approach to the project has benefited the building because it's allowed stakeholders and people from across all areas of the faculty to feed in their views, thoughts and requirements into the building. During the construction period, GF Tomlinson remained professional at all times. The design team, the design collaboration, the engagement with the lead contract managers, Tim Hubner in Dalby, were always professional. The quality of the build is excellent. We've delivered the project on time, we've delivered the project to budget, and we've had a pretty smooth transition from a construction site and a finished building into an operational facility. The result was that all the research groups moved in ahead of programme, the teaching spaces were completed ahead of programme and the teaching activities commenced in January. Uh, students and staff universally love the space, it's a different feel, it's a real vibrant feel. You feel like engineering's opened up to everybody. Uh, we've had some very positive feedback from research partners uh, and groups that we work with on the uh, quality of the facilities uh, and the spaces that we've got. It's certainly putting engineering in a really good light and it's allowing to expand our research teaching activities to the way that we wanted to.